Hi guys, today I just want to share the gospel and share the reason why you should follow Jesus and how can he actually save you. So today I'm going to use the free circle. You can also uh, go on YouTube or go in Google and just to find more resources about this, but I'm going to try to explain it within my capacity. So we could somehow agree that we live in a broken world right if you look at the news if you look at around you if you look at yourself and the situation around you and your loved ones it is broken the pangs of pain is there some of you are depressed suicidal some people are actually very sick some people are basically experiencing and living in the consequences and the guilt of sin but here's the thing this is not god's original design when God created earth, He designed it to be beautiful, full of love, you know. He basically gave us a glimpse of what life with God would be. The sunshine, the laughter of the cute little babies, the puppies, you know, the cute little animals, the beautiful flowers on the streets, you know, that basically just sit there and look pretty for us to enjoy. But the Bible said that when God created the earth, the original man have chosen to turn away from God. So turning away from the will and the design of God is what the Bible called sin. And because of that, the pangs of pain that we experience now was birth. But the Bible said that we were all created in the image of God. That just means that we naturally crave life. We naturally crave an escape from this world. Or from the situation that we are currently in that's why many of us turn to a lot of things thinking that it can fulfill us many of us started turning to substance use some of us turn to entertainment some turn some of us turn to money you know some even really take take unfortunately take their life through suicide and even even with those things it will be just like a stretch rubber band it will eventually pull us back to this original ugly state that we are trying to in. But here's the thing. The Bible said that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. God is in pain seeing us in this state. So what He did is something that we cannot do for ourselves. He sent His Son, Jesus. Jesus is God in human form. So God himself came here 2,000 years ago and he died on the cross. When he was buried during that death, he brought with him sin and the consequences and the curses and the punishment of sin. And on the third day, he rose again, totally demonstrating that he had defeated death and all of this. The Bible said that if we repent and we change our mind on where we are currently and start acknowledging that there is God and even making God the Lord and Savior of our life, we will be restored back to God's original design and we will become a new person. Now here's the thing. The Bible doesn't tell us that we will be saved by our own works. The beautiful thing about this is Jesus is asking you to meet you where you are. If you don't, if you try to clean yourself before meeting Jesus, you're basically trying to go to shower while you had already wiped down your your body or while you have already cleaned yourself. You know, Jesus is asking you to come as you are and to put your faith in Him, to put your trust in Him, to confess your sin to Him and to ask Him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. And the supernatural encounter with God and His restoration power will come from there. Now my question is, where do you think you are at currently? If you are still here and you want to experience God and the original design that He had for your life, then your first step is to say this prayer. Now, this prayer doesn't change your life, but this is just a form of commitment. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna post the salvation prayer here, but after that, I do consider that you you start taking a Bible, start going to a Christian church, and just continue in prayer. Because through prayer, God can encounter you, and through prayer, the Bible said that God is faithful. He will lead you to the right connection, to the right people, and to the right church. That's all I want to share, share guys. God bless you.